and talk about the journey of a lifetime. All right. Um, I kind of think about it earlier on. But you can see. All right. Um, okay. Greetings, family. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Oh, okay. Let's start. <laughs> Greetings, family. Uh, my name is Anuket, mm -hmm. and um, I'm sitting right now in the beautiful resort of um, One Africa on the Gulf Coast, on the Gulf, Gulf Coast, mm -hmm. on the coast. Mm -hmm. wait, wait, there's a coast. <laughs> on the coast, facing yeah. the Atlantic. Yes? That's right. Uh, I got here mm -hmm. through Bomani's mm -hmm. once in a lifetime Afri Africa for Africans mm -hmm. tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I've been in Ghana and uh, I stay at Techumen, at Benu Village, mm -hmm. this has been an incredible, incredible gift. Mm -hmm. uh, Bomani called my spiritual daughter and said, We've got a room paid for, the people didn't turn up, come down. Anyway, we have a lot of building work going on. So she said, would you like to go? And I thought, yeah, it'd be fun. However, I didn't realize how incredible it was going to be. We went to so many different places, museums, and we went to, what was it, the slave burial place? Yes, uh, off Cape Coast. Yeah. Off Cape Coast. Yeah. It was an incredible experience, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. And Bomani has made it such a. Um, now you're throwing me off. <laughs> Bomani has made it possible for so many people to come here and have an experience of a lifetime, as it said. And it is an experience of a lifetime. It helps you to see what Africa really is like. Yes. Africa that's not shown in the media. There yeah. are no starving children with hungry bellies out here. It's beautiful. And you have Africans with hotels, uh -huh. Africans with their own resorts. Right. You know, it's like we are business people right. and that's not shown. We're always shown with our hands out. Right. However, that's not what this tour shows you. Right. It shows you an Africa that you're going to fall in love with. Uh -huh. People that you're going to fall in love with. We're really creative beings as we know. And, and the man is tour puts us in touch with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the hands across the water. Yes. We have to connect, mm -hmm. yes, those in the diaspora, where they don't want us anyway. And we have this big, beautiful land, mm -hmm. really rich in resources. Mm -hmm. You can grow food. You don't have to starve in Africa. So when they tell us that we're starving in Africa, you've got to see that somebody else came in there to make that happen. Right. Yes, so I mean, it, it's a great thing. Right. Uh, how long have you uh, known about Bomani's tours? Um, I learned of them. Oh, okay, I could, I could answer <laughs> it basically about two years now. Really. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. Cool. About two years. Yeah. And would you say that they're um, pretty, like, I guess, comparable to other tours? It would it be better or, or worse than other tours that you've heard of? Um, I think. I think because it's it's good for first timers because yeah. it takes you to the tourist places mm -hmm. plus it takes you to a few places that other tours won't take you to right. so it's it's a little balance it's a taster in a sense Got you. and it makes people think about what they want to do and where they really want to see and what they want to focus on when they come to Africa so it, it's good in that respect yeah well, what would you say would it be uh on the top of your list, maybe top one, top three uh -huh. events of the of the trip or <laughs> moments um, of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, I had a really good experience at the um, slave burial uh -huh. because uh, the tour guide. I didn't like the movies. I don't. I don't watch those things anymore. I've seen <laughs> it. I know it. I'm about solutions, really. Uh -huh. uh, however, the tour guide. We took off our shoes, mm. it wasn't obligatory. And walking through the same path as our ancestors, because energies don't disappear, you can't get rid of energy. So there's energy buried in all yes. the earth, yes. yes, of things that have happened. So, and then going into the water and making our connection with them, that was very uh, inspiring for me. Mm -hmm. And I could feel uh, a response back, yes. So. Mm. I think that's my top one. 
and then oh gosh one Africa is just like paradise oh, so okay. <laughs> I've been here before so I'm really happy to be here again and then um, what was another one that I really really loved? the food the food, <laughs> yeah. mm, yes. food I'm a foodie so <laughs> I, I really enjoyed the food um, in all the different places actually yes. yeah 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 so. And the hotel, was it Mickling? Mickling, yeah. Mickling, that yeah. was really nice. And mm -hmm. what's even better is that it's owned by like, an African man. Yes, yes, it yeah. is. Yes, yes, yes. So, or an African body of people. That's so that's right. great because we really need to jump on our resources because mm -hmm. other people are jumping on them. Mm -hmm. So we need to support ourselves in Africa as opposed to going to the China man or the you know the Jewish man or the Caucasian or the right. English man we need to support ourselves well any ideas of like uh, I guess what would be the first steps in, in, in doing that well there are so many um, we need we need manufacturing uh, uh, to put it bluntly businesses. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, I mean, we need to create factories where we can um, can our own products to be able to compete on the, an international level uh -huh. yes, because we don't have those resources. Well, there isn't that much that is belonging to Africans. Uh, we have the cocoa, we have honey, we have so much. And other people are coming in and creating little um, uh, uh, businesses and then exploiting it in the West as usual. Right. We need to create our own. We're, we're creative. We can do packaging that they would never think of, you know. Gotcha. But we need manufacturing companies build them up so we can do that. Yeah. That's yeah. start from there, really. Yeah. Well, do, do you have any words for uh, those uh, those of us that have not yet made it to the continent, those people that are possibly contemplating going on Bomani's tours? Yeah, yeah. What words of advice would you have for them? Uh, I would say think of when you want to come, whether yes. it's in May or whether it's in November. Book your ticket and get ready and come. Yeah. What was really inspiring about this tour was there was a whole family. Yeah. There was the grandmother, That's there right. was the daughter, That's right. there was the son, yeah. son-in-law, mm -hmm. and then there were the three boys, children. And they raised them, they homeschooled them, so it was amazing. We have to bring our youngsters here so they can see what this place is like, not just what's shown on TV or on, online, you know? So you pack in, you're getting ready to come, come! <laughs> you won't be disappointed! <laughs> yeah. and, and I want to say thank you to Bomani uh -huh. because I really had a great time. Yes. You know, I really did. I didn't think I would enjoy it so much. And it's a great bunch of people as well. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I give thanks. Well, we, we enjoyed you too, Mama. Thank, uh, thank you. you, thank you. You've heard it from her, yourselves. Come. Uh, as in tree language, they would say bra. So yes. thank you for, the, the, for this interview and uh, it's very candid. I thank you for the opportunity. Ashe. Ashe.